orchestra like NYO. I'm hugely impressed with their capacity to play. They really, really can play and play with great quality. And so I feel able to push things as I would with a professional orchestra as far as I can. So I'm, I'm hugely impressed. So the mixture of pieces I hope works well together. It's quite a colourful programme, it's quite varied. There's music by recent composers and sort of 20th century classics. How do you practice the rebel? Not with the right hand. <laughs> it's tricky because that's not something that you've been doing since I started playing piano. Yeah? So it's a skill that you have to learn later in life. But I like learning new things. And yes, it's challenging, it's exciting, but maybe it works my brain in, the, in a different way. So maybe I'll get more brain cells after it. Conducting is more fun, it's more enjoyable in a way particularly when you're having a lovely week like this with such enthusiastic um, and fine kids playing like this. But too long goes by without composing, then I feel the main part of my life is it feels empty because I am a composer who conducts. If I wasn't going to be a musician, choice number one would have been architect, which is related to music very much, and choice number two would have been farmer, and I would have been a terrible farmer. I started when I was five, but I used to go to concerts since I was born because my mom couldn't afford a babysitter and she dragged me up to uh, regularly, like every week, to concerts of Belgrade Philharmonic. It seems that I was okay with full orchestra sound in a, in a relatively small hall. I play only pieces that I'm madly in love with and I'm very lucky that my life now represents only these kind of concerts. The type of classical music that interests me the most is contemporary classical music. Music written by my teachers, by the people I know, by my friends, my generation, and also by the youngest generation coming now. But I love all music. The exciting, the challenging, um, the kind of music that needs all of me, not just part of me. Well, when I see all these kids in front of me playing so well, and they've been so amazingly trained and they've done such practice throughout their short lives. It gives one great confidence in the, in the future of music. I think we should all try to put out quality music in a quality way, with a heart and mind, and be very aware of what's been written today.